Today we will start working on the World Robotics Olympiad 2015 Junior High competition that's called the Treasure Hunt. We have our robot and the competition is pretty interesting. You can check below in the links for the rules and in today's video we will start collecting these treasures with our robot. The rules of the competition are very interesting, again check out the materials below and they are the following. You have different treasures on the field and they are in a grid. So you move with the robot, you detect a treasure, then you collect this treasure and you detect the color of this treasure, which in this case is red, and below the treasure there is a piece of paper which has another color and you detect the other color and you now have two colors the first color gives you the row the second color gives you the column where the next treasure is and then you collect this treasure and you move and you search on the field for the next treasure and then you collect the next treasure probably the blue one and uh, in this way you connect collect all the treasures in the next video we will show you the field but in today's video, we will just stop on how do we collect the treasures, what is our construction and how does it work. We've decided to use a robot that's very similar to the one given as an example from the organizers of the World Robotics Olympiad 2015. And it's a small robot. It consists, at least in our construction, it consists with two motors that power the robot and one medium motor at the front of the robot and this medium motor powers a special mechanism that's uh, designed to collect different treasures it has a medium motor and it's connected to an axle through gear wheels right here and we have two more gear wheels at both of the sides and we rotate a mechanism with which we collect the different treasure how does it work you can see the medium motor rotating and from there powering the construction, the attachment. And if I now take a treasure, I could see that this treasure gets collected. And we must collect, I think, four treasures. So inside of the robot, or five, it might be five. We, we can check in the links below in the rules. And uh, if we collect the treasure, we must keep the treasure somewhere and we keep them in a container. This container is inside of our robot. Again, one more treasure. And I think I had one more here. And we now have five treasures inside of our robot. This is our design. It's pretty interesting. We have the sensors at the front of the robot, but we will use the sensors to actually detect the different colors and the treasures on the field. After we've collected, it's an interesting question, how do we release the different treasures so we can start our program again and it will be pretty difficult to disassemble this robot each time we collect the treasures. So we came up with a solution where below the robot we have a small door and we open this door with two of the red pins. Let me just rotate it so that you can see it on the camera. And if I now remove these two red pins, this one here and this one here, and I can have the door open and from there I can release the treasures. One, two, three, four of the treasures. And then we close the door. It's again closed by two of the red pins. You can find the instructions for building this robot below in the material sections. And it will be interesting again to show this robot works uh, when the treasures are placed on the field. So let's say that they are placed again. They are not exactly like this, but in order for you to view them on the camera, let's say that these are the treasures. And if I now start our program, the robot will just move forward and collect all of, the all of the treasures.
in the next video we'll look at how do we use the sensors to detect where the treasures are and how do we use the color sensor to detect the color of these treasures.